y'all hey y'all hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today i am making a diy tabletop fire pit these are all of my supplies i know i'm going really quickly because <laughs> i was thinking of should i talk over it or should i just say it but <laughs> it's going and it's gone so these are all the supplies i got all of them were from the dollar tree except for this little crate right here i got it from michael's for about five dollars so right now i am just tracing it on the foam board because we are going to use this foam to put inside of the crate so we can have like a base for the sternos and for the glass crystals so one it can sit higher and come to the edge and two that it can be pretty i meant to put this silver but i completely forgot so whatever <laughs> i want to say i traced it about four of these and cut them and i was able to fit them in the um little wooden crate next i am putting the sternos in just to see if they fit and they're at the level that i want them to be in the crate and they are so perfect now i am taking out the frames and i got these 11 by 14 frames again at the dollar tree and we are just using the glass of the frame one thing that i did not do in this video that i did was sand down the edges so we won't cut ourselves but it was pretty simple so i'm just taking the glass frames out of each of these frames and i got two and i'm about to get it done prepare it for the next steps oh look at that pretty glass you can get the best glass from the dollar tree to do things with now i got these rectangular chargers and these are going to be my sides so i am going to glue them down y'all i really had a hard time leveling this and gluing it down um but i am pretending here to <laughs> i am pretending here for the video purpose <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm really pretending here that I was trying to get it level. I just did it by eye and got it done. But, you know, for video's sake, I had to act like I was really leveling it. And as you can see, I look dumb, but it's okay. And please don't mind that I don't have on my wig. I was just like, are you recording this video without a wig? I don't know. But anyway, I'm rambling. But like I said, I'm pretending here to... Um, level it and everything but i really glued it down by eye <laughs> i did use um e6000 glue and hot glue to get this done you always have to put a little hot glue on it because the e6000 glue is so slippery and it won't stick for what seems like 24 hours for some reason but when you're doing the hot glue you have to you know you have to move real fast because it dries very quickly and then it'll if it dries too quick it'll create a hump that you do not want so I'm just putting the E6000 on and then boom I'm gonna hit it with the hot glue and then I'm gonna put on this side I really only had to adjust it maybe once or twice from doing it by eye I think I did a real good job on that end so just keep watching And that actually, the E6000 hot glue kept it real sturdy. It is still standing to this day. And I am happy about it. So here I'm just making sure I press it down really, 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 really good. Make sure it stays in the same position. Like I said, I only really had to adjust it maybe twice or thrice. <laughs> 
now I have both sides on and it's looking really good I stood it up for video purposes so you guys can see it but it's it's really on it's really well now I am putting the beads on it to just let it sit now it is time to put our glass on and so I did the edge of the glass instead of doing it in the middle like a lot of the videos that I did see on YouTube because I just wanted to make sure that it would be sturdy enough to hold the beads, the sternos and everything else up. So I just E6000 the edges of the charger and I hit it with hot glue as well and they stuck pretty well and this project really was really quick for some reason like it literally probably took me 10 minutes to do this and just leave it to dry overnight and it was it was a wrap I was so excited how easy it was and how it turned out because it was definitely my vision in my head but here you just see I'm just hitting it with the hot glue and boom I'm about to put the glass on and it's good to go I was thinking maybe I should have put something in between it like some crystals or something like that but you know I can always make an another one and put something in it to fancy it up you know like the little diamonds and things like that to put in that part because it did have a space but it looks so classic and so chic and I love it and literally I just put the crystals on there to hold it down and I put it up against like the wall so it could stand up and um, it was a wrap so now I am putting little pieces of foam board at the bottom just so it can have like an extra support basically. I don't think the foam board is doing that much but for the pizzazz of the video <laughs> and for me to feel better that it's standing up a little bit with the foam I just hot glued a few pieces to the bottom and it makes me feel like I have a little more support so you can do that or you cannot but it did make me feel comfortable and better that it looks and feels like I have more support and so now here is the finished product I just have the beads on top so they can dry overnight and I came back the next day to finish it off so check it out so now it's the next day I put my wig on thank you guys look how good it looks you guys look how good it looks I always had an intention on spray painting everything silver on the inside but I literally forgot like I just was after I put it together I said oh my god I forgot that I was gonna spray paint everything bought spray paint and everything so with your project if you do the same one um, just make sure if you want to to spray paint everything on the inside silver so it can be cohesive or any other color that you would like but I do like the silver chargers on the outside so what I'm doing right now is just putting the sternos in and then putting the beads around it and making sure that it fits I started to dump the beads before I thought you got to put the sternos in first so <laughs> here you just see me struggling to put the sternos in flat without any beads underneath and then now I am just going to add the rest of the beads <clears throat> I didn't use all of the packs I think I used all all of them except for one and it, and this is how it came out I am excited and it came out so beautiful so y'all y'all know what it is until next time don't forget to like share and subscribe tell me where you want me to go tell me what you want me to see and tell me what you want me to do because I'm a what get it done y'all it came out so beautiful I couldn't get a better video because I was on my balcony enjoying it at the night time but it was great see y'all later bye